Hi, everybody. It is January 21, 2019. Okay, uh, first, I posted this video, Two Ways to Connect with Like Minds in Your Area, and I asked if you wanted to meet Like Minds in your area to send me an email to neverlosetruth at gmail.com and put in the subject heading county and state and I'm amazed at how many people didn't do that. Um, you putting where you live in the subject heading and only that. Just now I'm going to ask just for the state because I realized that, you know, you could be living, I could have two people from the same state, they have two different counties, but they could actually live very close to one another. And the only way that I can determine that is by going to Google Map and um, doing the whole directions. And I did that, uh, but I don't want to do that because that takes an awful long time. And I spent actually hours connecting those that did email me. Um, so what I am telling you is that now... I'm just going to be sending you the email addresses of those in your state. And you can determine if they are close by or not. You might just want to correspond with them uh, and then talk with them on the phone. You might from meeting people that uh, who knows what could be generated and perhaps you'll have monthly meetings or whatever and people will travel so I'm going to be sending um, you know, everybody in the same state their email addresses but I noticed underneath this video that a lot of people were just giving me the area where they live not sending me an email at Never Lose Truth I don't know if people come back to look at the comments, to leave responses. I don't trust YouTube communication. That's why I posted this video saying I will get the um, emails from you and then forward them on to others who live in your area. But I can't believe how many people were just saying, yeah, I want to... Uh, meet like-minded people in my area. I live here, but I never got an email from them. So I stated very clearly, send me an email, never lose truth at gmail.com. I will put that in the description box. So uh, for those that I have sent emails to, it would really be nice to hear back whether or not you've been able to connect uh, simply because doing this you know in the cyber world never knowing the effect of what you're doing it gets kind of draining so you do like to hear that you've had an effect um, and I'm not saying you know that hey I need to know for ego purposes. I just don't want to feel like, you know, sometimes you wonder, God, am I just spinning my wheels here? Um, but never getting any feedback, it, it gets a little bit draining. So that would really be appreciated. All right, so never lose truth at gmail.com. If you want to connect with people in your area, send me an email and in the subject heading put your state your state and county because who I'm sending you know the email off to um, your address off to they may want to know your county okay the other thing that I want to speak to is um, I in this video that I posted yesterday as well, former Merck rep speaks out 
um, I had played this video, Brandy Vaughn, but I did not read in the description box what was written. Now, I posted this video on Kafka Winston World a couple of years ago, Brandy, um, talking about the intimidation tactics that she was experiencing. Now, any Merck employee that quits and then becomes a public speaker, speaking the truth about Big Pharma, you know they're going to be watched and targeted. And no doubt, they're going to have their phones tapped. She's talking about people, and her experiences are very similar to those who are targeted. You know, people break into your home. Uh, they don't bust anything. They don't steal anything. So you call the police, but nothing's gone, nothing's stolen, nothing's vandalized, nothing's, you know, everything is a-okay. You don't file a report, which is what she says in, in this um, video. But what was stated underneath in the description box, Brandy Vaughn is a Merck employee. She pretends to oppose vaccines, but she works undercover for Merck. Of course, no evidence. And then just posts Brandy's video. Um, what I want to say about this is, when you see these channels going after people, and apparently this guy also posted um, the same channel, Del Big Tree, Andy Wakefield, Joshua Coleman, all these people are shills. They don't leave any evidence, just attacking these people. And if you go to this channel, you'll see that, well, it's not a channel I would subscribe to. Um, so, but unfortunately, when people write these things, it does have an influence on people. So to the person who left my the comment just recently about um, where is it? Hmm. The description of the original video is not supporting this lady's story. That was not the original video. Corrupt vaccines copied that video and posted it on their channel. But not supporting this lady's story, instead it's saying that the police have no report of her being at home. Come on, what's going on? Okay. In Great Barrington, I once had to call the police on a drunk neighbor. And forgetting about all of the details, I didn't file a report. So if I stated that in a video, and then somebody did a, a public records request, as this guy did, or woman, I don't know who this, this blog, T. Matthew Phillips, um, if somebody did a public re records request and it came back that there were no records to be found, then I would be a liar and a shill. Really. That this blog is actually written by an attorney. It's, it, it's an attorney's blog. And the reason why I'm also going to be going into that is because I got a comment from a subscriber underneath my video saying T. Matthew Phillips claims that there was no police record. I think in this video she does say that she did, didn't file a report. There was nothing stolen. There was nothing... Uh, this is what happens to targeted individuals. 
But think about a Merck ex employee speaking as Brandy Vaughn speaks. You know damn well Merck is going to be watching her. Big Pharma is going to be watching her. Now, a lot of people have stated uh, those whistleblowers when they are targeted, when they have experiences that lead them to believe that something worse can happen, they come out publicly and state those experiences. It's like added security for them. You know, if they remain silent, nobody knows. You know, in this instance, Brandy is going through this. If Brandy never ever said anything and suddenly she's dead, well, People might think, okay, she had a heart attack or whatever. But they wouldn't question, or they might not question, Merck. But she putting up this video, going into the details of what she did experience, then if anything happens to her afterwards, people will really look at Merck or whatever private security company they hired and these corporations they have on retainer private security companies that go in and do exactly what Brandy is talking about in this video as a hey we're watching you we're listening to you take note be scared shut up well some don't shut up. Um, so evidence is really important when people, you know, it's, uh, you know, and people write things like, very strange that there were no cameras. How do you know there weren't? How do you know there weren't? Because you don't see the camera? You know, she goes into her home, um, you know they have cameras where it's very very difficult to even find them we don't know what Brandy did after this you know we don't know she spoke to two security people and they said no doubt you're being your phones are being tapped um, could Merck find the master code to her security system that she installed after the first experience that she had coming home and seeing her front door key right next to the front door right out in the open could Merck get that master code? Of course they can. So uh, the only evidence is that there was a public records request and nothing was found because Brandy didn't file a report. Okay. This entire blog, it's so sad that first, I, I, I'm amazed that this person is an attorney because this is the only evidence and it's not evidence it's actually confirmation of what she said I didn't file a report um, Brandy Vaughn is a corporate shill really she founded the vaccine safety council which proves she's a shill because there's no such thing as safe vaccines okay so she's a shill no evidence um, the Council for Safe Vaccines, I think she founded, and then she started her website, which I show in this video that I posted yesterday, um, which is Learn the Risks. Now, if you um, take a look at her channel, and you listen to 
she in these videos talking about how vaccines are not safe. Um, she's an activist in terms of fighting laws that are about to be passed regarding mandatory vaccination. She started in California. She went to Italy because they were, um, their legislature were about to pass their mandatory vaccination laws. But she also educates on um, how dangerous vaccines are. So when you come across these people who don't provide any evidence and who just claim that people are shill because they have a vaccine safety council because this person is fighting for the abolition of vaccines and this person claims that Brandy is fighting for safety testing well no evidence of that and if you listen to Brandy's videos on her channel, there's she, I, I, I couldn't find one that calls for safety testing. But the entire blog is just a personal hit piece with no evidence. He claims, or she claims, that because she didn't file a lawsuit, lawsuit to stop SB 277, that means she's working for Merck. She was very active in trying to fight it, but because she didn't file a lawsuit, she's a shill. Now, Brandy felt bad about Vioxx, suddenly grew a conscience, quit her job, and fled to Europe. But wait, Brandy used to sell Vioxx for Merck, and that fact never changes. She's an ex-drug dealer. Can she ever be admitted to heaven? No way. Hey, Brandy, how many people did you kill for Merck? Now, in one of the videos that I was watching, she says that she has blood on her hands. People can change. People do change. And I'm afraid that these people who claim that people just don't change are really the people who don't change. There are people with you know, some semblance of a moral core who, when they learn the truth of what they are doing, what their company is doing, they can't do it anymore. So, very often you'll see, especially when it relates to the death and destruction of people's lives, there are other people on YouTube who have been Farmer, pharma reps. And when they learned, they quit and they are part of this community trying their best to wake people up. It doesn't surprise me that Brandy went from being a Merck Viox rep to becoming someone who is full-time engaged in fighting these mandatory laws, but also educating on how dangerous these vaccines are. Um, it's certainly something I would do, but it's so it's heartbreaking to see people just want to tear people down. And they do it with no evidence. But these blogs, unfortunately, they have an impact. And there's an awful lot of people who don't know what evidence is. They see someone, oh, you're an attorney and you're writing a blog and you claim that she works for Merck still and she's a shill? Then you must be right. And then the rumors fly. It's such a waste of energy. But to go after her 
and Brandy's conscience must have been awakened by all the widows who screamed, more Viox safety studies, right, wrong. The Viox widows never scream for more Viox safety studies. This guy, uh, or woman, I don't know, it, it's like, where'd you go to law school? This is not an argument. This is a personal attack. Is it ego crap? You know, this guy is, is not as well known as Brandy Vaughn. And then, oh God, I, I just, you know, where's your proof? Screams queens, uh, Brandy Vaughn is truly evil because she is two-faced. Where, where's the evidence of that? None. Every fiber of her being is a lie. Where's the evidence of that? There is none. Brandy seeks to frighten others. Where's the evidence of that? Oh, because she posted a video talking about the intimidation tactics. Uh, yeah? Okay, well that's your opinion. No evidence. Uh, notably, Brandy uses the same fear tactics as Aaron the Health Nutter. So he goes after Aaron, too, and other people. Yeah, this is a blog. Let's take them down with no evidence. These two ugly women are truly disgusting. Low-life individuals, quite literally, who say and do anything for money. And Brandy wants you to praise her as a hero for continuing to fight on. No. Nothing. I have heard from any of her videos gives me any indication that she wants praise, that she's looking for praise, uh, that she's a Merck shill controlled op. I would think that Merck, you know, they have their controlled ops out there. But I don't think they're saying what Brandy Vaughn is saying. Um, oh, now he's claiming that no law enforcement officers were at Brandy's house. My office made a Freedom of Information Act request to local law enforcement to determine whether law enforcement officers were actually present at Brandy Vaughn's house responding to a supposed break-in. But guess what? According to authorities, no law enforcement officers were at Brandy's house, which proves Brandy is a liar. Um, No distinct and specific records matching the description of the report you seek. I guarantee you, if you did a request, Great Barrington Police, you wouldn't come up with anything when I called and when um, the police came. So this, this attorney must know that that's not it is so not enough evidence and it certainly is not any evidence to suggest that she works for Merck it sounds like this guy just wants Brandy to do exactly what he's doing. And if you don't, then you're a shill. It's frightening, actually. Anyway, look. Whew, you know. There are so, there's so much to the individual. There is so much to even an individual's experience that when they come out and they, you know, try to um, 
retell these experiences with some kind of brevity. You know, they may forget details. They uh, may just go, you know, talk about, you know, in a cursory fashion what happened. But then you get people claiming that you're a liar because this happened, because you didn't mention that. Oh, my God. It's... Um, Her true allegiance is to Merck, which is, explains why she doesn't demand vaccine abolition. Because she'd get fired from her troll gig. No evidence. But a whole lot of people will read this and go, oh my God. All right. I, I'm just so tired of this, you know. At one point in this, oh, I gotta get to it. I have to get to it. Where does he say it? Um, a, hang on. Yeah, she founded the Vaccine Safety Council, which proves she's a shill because there's no such thing as safe vaccines, and yet on her, uh, website, this is what she had. There's no such thing as a safe vaccine. So these two people are pretty much on the same page. And then goes into unemployed. Oh yeah, unemployed. Wink, wink. Now, this guy's in ninth grade. I don't think that this is a California attorney. He's in ninth grade. Hasn't graduated yet. Wink, wink. So who pays her mortgage? <laughs> you know, it's like, all right, I don't know this person at all, not from Adam, but I'm going to make all of these presumptions, put it in question form. Who pays her mortgage then? Huh? Don't know. Don't know. Maybe she managed her money really well when she was a farmer rep. Maybe she has inheritance. I don't know. But does it suggest that she's working for Merck? Please tell me you understand what I'm saying. Please tell me. All links are below.